says that God gives grace to the humble, but he resists the proud. That man is proud. That man is mocking God. And you see that he still walks down the street. And I pray that God, in his grace and his mercy, would, would cause that man to see the need of Christ, that he would understand his, his sin before a holy and righteous God, and he would, he would humble himself, would fall on his face, and he would thank God for mercy, because there is salvation in no other name, even among men by which we must be saved, than through Jesus, Jesus Christ. And anything the Bible says that we are born into this world sinners, we are born with a sin nature. You see, we got that sin nature that we that we have a word with. It says that we are disobedient and we are rebels against God. As you can see, when the word of God is preached, people get squirrely. People hate the word of God and they try to hide and they try to drown out the preaching of the gospel because men love darkness rather than the light because their works are evil. And so Christ came into the world to save sinners and men want to drown out the light. The thing is, there's going to be a day when you're going to stand before the light. You're going to stand before God himself and you won't be able to stand. You're going to fall on your face and you're going to fall to your knees and you're going to beg God for mercy but there's going to be no chance for you. When you stand before God, you fall on your face and beg Him for mercy. And what's going to happen is He's going to send you to hell. He's going to send you to hell for eternity because you rejected His Son. He's going he's to reject you and send you to hell because you rejected His only begotten Son, Jesus. And so we're not giving you today a message of condemnation and wrath. We're giving you the message of good news. And you don't have to face the condemnation of wrath. You don't have to face the wrath of God because Christ bore the wrath in his body on the tree. That salvation has been paid for by God's grace alone, through faith alone, and Christ alone. But like I said, he resists the crowd and he gives grace to the humble.